All right. Hi, guys. We're back. Round two. Ugh, it's hot here. Hot, hot, hot. We'll give it a minute. <coughs> See if uh, some people come over. Hey, Lexi, got the uh, got my Fordham fixed, my flex shaft. It was an easy fix. Uh, how long has it been since you've heard that? Easy fix. Hey, G, you want to come in? I'm only going to be on for a short time because Gianna and Edna are having an auction today in about an hour. So that's one of the reasons I came on is to remind you guys of that. And um, I don't know, maybe make some jewelry or something. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, here's the link. Why don't you um, come in and, and uh, promote your auction? Oh, I am so hot. Got to get my air conditioner turned on. see if Ms. G will come in and grace us with her presence. There she is. Yay. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, boy. I missed you earlier. I was cleaning the house, jumped in the shower, and happened to look at my phone and said, my mom had come on. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hi, Madonna. Yeah, Chrissy just fixed, finished up, so I jumped on. I'm going to have to be careful of, of that again. I can go on at different times, but she's scheduled, so I can figure this out. I know I can figure this out. This doesn't take a brain search. And <laughs> not go on when she's on. Uh so I got my uh, my flex shaft fixed. Oh, good. I'm glad you got it fixed. Yeah, I saw that message also when I looked to see. I didn't know you texted me at all. I was like, oh, man, I'm such a horrible daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, actually, my phone, for some reason, is not giving me notifications, even when Edna was trying to call me last night. And, <laughs> and there, I didn't even hear the phone ring because it didn't ring. I mean, <laughs> so I checked it. To Hi, see Michelle. It was Hi, Michelle. Hi, Mel. <laughs> In Hi. unison. Hi, Alexis. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lynn. And Lynn, yes, I'm back for a few minutes because um, we our next stop will be <laughs> <laughs> on the Sandy Train. Oh, oh man, I'm just uh. okay. So, for those of you that didn't see before, I put a ring shank on our turtle. And we'll get him cleaned up and the stone in him. And, uh, oh, then the um, Denali, I cut that. 
So that's gonna that's gonna look nice in a ring. I think we'll do this tonight. I've got a, a stream scheduled for 7:30 my time tonight. Oh, good. I figure three and a half hours. You guys should be done. Well, we should. <laughs> I don't want to be on there forever. <laughs> I get tired when I'm on too long. <laughs> so. <laughs> Doug walked back there just now and the dogs are going crazy. And Doug looks at him and he goes, shut up. <laughs> Quiet. All of the dogs shut up. <laughs> uh, they, Doug has the touch. But, uh, oh, and uh, look what I got up last night. Also, we got up our bubble nap. Yay! Get that out of the way. So, so now we can start putting pins. I have to find the little flags, but we can start putting flags in. And then over on that wall, I'm going to put the um, the world map, so we know where everybody in the world is. So you guys will have your own little push pins in there. I think what I'm going to do is I've got some real thin cork and I'm going to slide that behind it so that I can, you know, put the pins into that. So we're going to, we're going to start that with um, everybody that, that subs to me will Put it in the in the map so we can see where everybody's from. Now, if I was real industrious, I would put your names on all of the little pins. But I'm not sure I'm not I'm that industrious, guys. <laughs> that would that would be a lot. So we'll see. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not promising. You want to see how they turned out, Mom? That's oh, cool. my God. Oh, guys, look at these. Are those not outrageous? Oh, my God. I think those are my favorites. What do you guys think? Hi, Willow. But yep, that's, I finished them yesterday. Took me wow. two days to do it because, oh, like I told you the night before, I just like crashed. Uh, and that's due to low blood sugar, opposite of everybody else out there. Yeah. <laughs> I had to be different, I guess. <laughs> I, I think I've got that too, is the hypo. Did you notice how quickly I shrunk you down? Mm -hmm. Before I said, make me small. <laughs> so tonight we'll, um, we'll do some fun stuff. And then, gee, look what I found for um, the uh, Kaleidoscope Jasper. Look at this piece of... Uh, okay, Sandy, you can do this. <laughs> You've done it before. <laughs> you can do this. Remember? Oh, that's the one that has the owl face in it. Yeah, but if you look at it again, he's got eyes and a mouth. Yeah. And eyebrows. Ooh, a little person in the rock. Or... You can see these as his mouth down here, mm -hmm. like he's 
toothy. <laughs> like he's Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> so anyway, I'm thinking of putting that on top of the kaleidoscope um, Jasper. My people say when you find faces in the rocks, that it's an actual human spirit in the rock. That's what I was reading on the fetishes, uh -huh. that if you find an animal um, in the rock, they feel that it's, it's still got the spirit of that animal in it, uh -huh. which is really cool. Of an Irish leprechaun. Yeah, I could see that. So, um, all sorts of fun stuff. So, um, you need to tell them about your, Ed, well, you and Edna auction in uh, about, about an hour. <laughs> minutes. Well, Edna and I are going to have our auction. Um, it's been um, up posted throughout YouTube, I guess, throughout the whole week. I guess that's how you call it. Um, I have it scheduled for for 6 p.m. Um, Eastern time. Gosh, now my brain's going to mush. Uh, Edna will be bringing her Native American beadwork. And, um, of course, I'm just going to be bringing my sterling silver because it's about Edna today. It's not about me. So I hope you guys can come over and support my sister for her first her first auction. Um, she's quite excited about it. And uh, I did a preview, I believe it was Monday, of some of the stuff that she has. But she did finish up a couple of other items that she didn't preview then. So join us today, um, 6 p.m. Eastern, which is 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific time. Hope I got that right. But yeah, yeah. join us then and let's have fun. We will have giveaways. Um, you know, who knows what's what. But also, I do want to advertise for Mom's Friday auction. Ladies, I have a jewelry jar for Friday's auction. There's sterling silver in there, gold silver tone, um, real pearls, faux pearls. So, name, you know, there, I believe there's some Leah Sophia in there. Some of them have tags on them yet. So, this is for Friday, Mom's auction. Get in. Cool. <clears throat> And I have a doctor's appointment in Provo tomorrow. That's why I'm trying to get on again tonight to make at least another piece of jewelry or two. Um, so I will be traveling to Provo tomorrow and probably staying the night. So I'm going to do the auction from motel room in, in Provo and Kent and Lee are going also. They've got a doctor's. No, they don't have a doctor's. They've got, um, they're going to, funeral, yeah, you know, to go to. So, um, we will be doing it on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> Her life in love is making music with her friends. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Very good. Very good. So we will have the auction. You guys probably are going to have to put up with some little bad lighting or something. But, you know... You guys have worked with me and done it before, so we'll have fun. Just grab one of your little LED lamps you had on the table. Take it with you. Good idea. Good idea. So. So, see? Oh, hi, Triple C. 
Didn't mean to miss you, hon. Um, so we have uh, about a half an hour or so. How about if I get the turtle ring together? How about if I get him cleaned up and stone mounted? And I should have thrown him in the tumbler. Oh, well. And I will not be able to get this guy um, finished for tomorrow. Because I've got to... Um, you got to make the beads. Yeah. So he will be probably the following Friday. But I will take Cliff with me and... We will we'll try and, oop, there's my camera, <laughs> sell this little guy, little Woodstock guy. All right, let's see, what else? What other news have we got? One of my adopted sons is here visiting. He's out there seeing the sights today. Yay! So he he came all the way from um, Monticello. He's a very Why not offer him without the beads. Oh, I don't know. I could. But she don't want to. I know, because these beads go so well with him. <laughs> they do. They really do. I actually found, for any of you crafters, um, let me just run and get it. Let's, I... No, I, Mom, walk no. and get it. I don't need you running. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, we don't need her running. <laughs> So what's been going on today? I notice YouTube's not as busy in the morning on Thursday as it is in the evening. So probably everybody all waiting for us to all pop on at the same time, which we probably do. Yeah, the granddaughters having a moment. That's Miss Dot for you, though. What are you talking about, my daughter? Oh, she's having a moment. What is it she's having a moment when she doesn't get away? But my honey went and got me a really big, big thingy of this. Woo! <laughs> I found some of my beading supplies that I'm probably going to sell some of this stuff. It'll be in 45 minutes, so see. Um, I'll just leave that. I found about a half of a Ethiopian opal uh, necklace for beading. And I also, you guys might be interested in this, that's what I was going to show you, found another opal. 
Go figure. <laughs> I'm just going to call her house the house of opals. <laughs> And Sandy. Okay. <laughs> um. Thank you. Thank you for giving me my two feathers. Not feathers. Here. <laughs> so I found some. Um, these are off of some ear, some. Uh, necklaces that I, I tore apart, but I have um, the, it's a, um, make yourself big mom. So that way everybody can see it. Well, all I need is one more hand and I could do that. Okay. So we got um, toggle, but it is sterling silver. Okay, so these are for May. I've got a couple of sets of those. And then I found, I believe it's opalite. Oh, very beautiful. Faceted opalite for you crafters, you crafty little guys. So, um, you going to put those in your auction, Mom? Probably. Yeah. That'd be great. Throw those in there. And I've got a lobster claw clasp. I wonder if that's sterling. Uh, I could just hear the music from the bionic woman while she's trying to look at these. Using her bionic eye. <laughs> it's not marked, but it's gold tone also. So we'll probably just throw that in. It's probably just a base metal, but um, these toggles are sterling. Uh, what else? Oh, I found uh, another... Um, faceted mm -hmm. opal. I didn't realize I had all these faceted opals. Mm -hmm. Dad, get mom coffee. Okay. Hi, Thrifty Tulip. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, that's flashing a little bit. Oh, pretty. Uh oh And down it goes. You said that's enough. Everybody saw me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got mainly greens and blues and some reds and, and that. So. Mm-hmm. We'll be doing something with that. Put that in the drawer with the other opals so I know where they are. Um, would any of you guys be interested in opal triplets? Now, what a hey, Chrissy. Great wolf. Great wolf. And I'm so sorry that I went on. I didn't even think you were on. And so I sent everybody over. I stopped the stream and sent them all over. Yeah. Should have just called it Sandy's Raid. <laughs> yep. Should have. Okay. So we've got, uh, I've got. Thank you, my love. Uh, a. Um, triplet opal is a black backing, a slice of opal, and then it's got a, um, uh, I think it's quartz top on it. 
So they look like that. Or your baby girl. Like this. I'm going to put this in here. It's not showing up very good. Anyway, I've got all sizes of those. And, uh, I'm just wondering if any of you crafters would be interested in those. They go nuts over craft lots like that if you put them together. And yeah, they really do. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, they are. They are real opals. You know, they just um, are not solid opals, if that makes any sense. Just on Thursdays? Okay, I'll try and remember that with my mush brain. Oh, okay. I'll write it up on my calendar. Okay. Do you keep track of it for me? Mm-hmm. You can't see. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we got those. Well, I'll make up a little bag, I guess, of uh, craft lot. And uh, see what we can get together. I'm sure I've got some more stuff around here. Okay, take that put it away. I uh surgery. It needs surgery. I found some uh, turquoise rondelles with holes drilled in them. Maybe I'll put those in. I've just been finding all sorts of stuff here lately. So, well, you did say that. You're going to surprise yourself and have Christmas once you start opening up all those crates. No kidding. Hey, cinnamon. Hey, cinnamon. Again in stereo. Yes. <laughs> so um, maybe we'll throw some of those in there that I can see these um, as earrings. Mm -hmm. you know, put a few beads and then this down at the bottom. Well, the Apache used those in a certain traditional type of earring. Oh, really? Yeah. What kind? I don't know the name of it, the style, but um, they're put together with the disc on top. And then okay. they have like a sinew coming down and they tie it in a knot at the bottom. Well, they tie it at the knot on the edge of the, the, the circle bring it around, tie a knot there, and then um, they kind of like fringe it out with small turquoise beads and um, spiny oyster. Wow. Yeah, I can see um, a lot of different ways to use these uh, in your range. Good evening. And I'm sure that if I just open up like one more bin, I will find something or grab one more. Um, what is that? No, uh, no, that's just turquoise. Just turquoise. No beads. But um, Marty said that she put all of the beads in one one bin. So if she comes over, I'll ask her which bin <laughs> which bin she put them in because I don't see it right off. 
but I'm sure that we can find them pretty quick. So I'll see if we can't get a little crafter's lot going for tomorrow night. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else. Um, I cut this stone for a ring. That's a beautiful cut, Mom. A yeah. very beautiful cut. I'm going to try and get this one done tonight. And uh, we'll get, uh, we will get the turtle finished up. Maybe I'll make um, another turtle for a pendant since we have a ring. And let's see. I've got about a half hour. You think I can make a turtle in a half hour? I don't know, but I'm probably going to go so I can make sure Edna's still set up right. Okay. Maybe um, somebody can, or one of the ladies can come in and keep you company while I'm... Yeah, maybe Cinnamon can uh, come in. Or uh, Christy, or whoever wants to come in. Help me out with the chat. No, Willow, I am massaging my hands because... My RA is kind of hurting today. <laughs> Willow, why don't, Willow, why don't you come on in? Yeah, I won't leave until somebody comes in with you, Mom. Yeah, come on, Willow. <laughs> and then we'll see how far I can get on a, on a uh, turtle pendant real quick. Because Bruce and I have a challenge. Um, there she is. Come on there. Okay. Bruce and I have a, a challenge that Mommy, we're going to start. Password. And uh, Hello, everyone. Uh, he's going to uh, do a painting, and I'm going to do a piece of jewelry and see who finishes first live on YouTube. That's so pretty that'll cool. be fun. That will be fun. All right, guys, I'm going to switch cameras and get big. And I, will, I will see everybody later here in about half an hour. Come on over. <laughs> okay. Yep, we will. Oops. Did I, yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Let me make myself big. How are you doing, Willow? Oh, I'm hanging in there. It's been kind of a rough day. Oh, I did dear. figure out how to pop chat out. Yay. Yeah, after you explained what it was, I went looking and I got her. Good deal. At about 3 o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot well, of things at 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, so. Data Girl was on and, and uh, I popped in there for a little while. She had a bunch of stones that she got from Grandpa and I was helping her ID them. All right. Well, cool. Let me turn this volume up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see how far I can get on a turtle. All right. We do have this cut. And I think it's going to be big enough for this one. Good. Barely hear you, hon. Okay. Um, let me turn this a little bit more. Okay. Is that any better? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to have to get a, a microphone for the the desk here. Um, let's see. Let's get going, Sandy. Let's see if we can get this show on the road. All right. So, does anybody else have any uh, praise reports? Any good stuff that they that's happened to them? <laughs> Okay. 
Nobody has any good stuff? Not seeing anything yet. Okay. We'll just keep going here and see if anybody's got some good stuff to report. Come here, Stone. Yeah, I took my uh, apart, and uh, the uh, set screw had just come loose. So that was all that was wrong with it. I had to back it off, put the, the shaft back on it, and tighten down the set screw, and good to go. Well, thank goodness it was an easy peasy fix. Yeah. All right. So glad about that. So if anybody's thinking of getting a flex shaft. All right. There's cinnamon. I'm glad this thing bings at me when people come in. Hi, cinnamon. Hey, cinnamon. And there's mm -hmm. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Good day. I'm glad that thing bings at me when people come in so I don't have to constantly turn around to see if somebody's coming in. All right, Sandy, get this show on the road. So, Cinnamon's in, but we can't hear her. Yeah, I haven't heard a peep yet. Looks like Chrissy might be coming in too. Oh, okay, cool. That'd be great. That would be great. Hell, hell, the game's on here. Praise report from Susan Gill. Blandine's dog just had an injured leg with arth arthritis rather than cancer, which is Yay. what they thought it was. Yay. So she got to bring her home. I'm sorry that the dog's hurt, but I'm glad it's not cancer. Exactly. It's fixable. Where they were able to, she was able to bring her home. That's that's a good sign. Yeah. That she probably just need to take it easy for a bit. Yeah. Come on. Chrissy's asking if she needs to be at her computer for StreamYard. Um. No, you can do it on the phone. You just, um, there we go. You can come in on the phone. Just, um, there are three dots at the top, and it's um, punch Chrome. Don't, uh, let me think. Who comes in on their phone? If you, you guys come in on your phone, um, Put in the chat how you do that for her, please. She says, okay, I will join you in a week. In a week? So maybe she's got to get her phone set up a Chrome. I don't know. Says, don't need to do it now. I will come on during the week. 
Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, she's working on supper right now, she says. Ooh. Yes, Kathy, she's finishing the turtle. She's made it into a ring and she's getting stone set and what have you now. Right now, I'm going to come in and make a turtle, a turtle pendant. Oh, okay. So she's doing a turtle pendant right now. Cool. See how far we can get in 30 minutes. So about 10 minutes to the hour. Somebody let me know so we can go over to uh, the auction. Shut it okay. Down to the auction. It's 37 after right now. So you got a little bit. Yeah. We'll see how far we can get. No, I thought you were setting the ring, but then I just remembered that you said you needed to tumble it before you set it. Yeah, I think that's, that's the easiest way for me. Yeah. Know. Well, if you can get that one ready, then you can put them in together and yep. set the stone tonight or whatever. Yep. All right, so I think the other one we took... Uh, Nell says we cannot see the flames very well. You got us on long side by sides, three of us. So there's not there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. Wait, yeah, recently trainer sitting. I thought I hit that. There you go. Sorry. That'll take care of it. And so he's giving Chrissy pointers on StreamYard and a phone. Let's see. I think those two will do it. We'll make this two back feet. And let's see. What did I do with that? She's got the metal done for the ring, Nell. Right now she's working on a pendant. A turtle pendant. Yeah. I think she just got an urge to make some turtles. It's all Nell's fault. Nell wanted turtles. <laughs> no, I think it was Susan that wanted turtles. Oh, Susan. Okay. Yeah, I I'm think it was Susan. Susan. And I concurred because I love turtles. But. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Hello, Carolyn Gambrel. I put my hair over. She's just got a few minutes because we're going to be going over to Diana and Ruth's auction that starts um, in exactly 20 minutes. Yeah. She's so, seeing how fast you can whip this turtle out. Yeah. We'll just see how far we can get here, guys. Yeah, she's planning on coming on later this evening. I think she's already got a reminder doohickey set up. You can check your time zones and what have you off of that. I think I have it scheduled for 7.30, which is about three and a half hours after she starts her off. So I think yeah. that should give them time to do the thing. and. Yeah. And that was Callie. So, we got his little feetsies. All I did was take a, a stamp that I have. And I yeah. I took, uh, okay. We're not hearing you very well, hon. I took a ball and then I took this stamp to make his feet. Oh, cool. So, 
Make his little toes. Yeah, yeah, I see his little toes. A tail. A tail. A tail of two tails. <laughs> I think we're going to do it with half round. Let me uh, use the grinder because it's a little bit quicker to form his tail. Okay. Yeah, you can see them down there. The two little stones on the right of the screen. One is for the ring and one is for this. At least I think those are the right ones. Yeah, I love turtles. Owls and turtles, I have two totems, and that's my two totems. Right. Yes, Carolyn, busy night of auctions, for sure. Must have moved around us because it's all east of us. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll take it. At least we don't have to worry about a river tonight, but that means it's going to get hotter faster. Some legs. So I'm going to stamp these also. Um, Well, that didn't turn out right. Uh oh. Take that off there. I don't know what I did. Can I stamp with this again? Turtle legs, turtle legs. <laughs> Looks like an earthquake. Your camera was a jiggling like a bowl of jelly. <laughs> I, I just broke another file. I mean, another saw blade. Oh, a coping saw blade? Bummer. So let's see if we can just keep it. It's easy to do. They're pretty fragile. One little kink and they're done. Mm, try this. Nell says, I really appreciate the time and talent you are sharing, Sandy. Well, thank you. All right. We've got it. Oh, his little front feet. Turn legs up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this round and I'm going to put them out and shape his head. So, I guess I'm going 
get it flat. Get over to the grinder and shape his head. And to Nell's comment about appreciating your talent, Chrissy says, yes, me too. Kathy's me three. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. Oh, speak about talent. That Chrissy is, she really is something else, isn't she, guys? Yeah, I'm, that what she was painting was something else. I appreciate her talent. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing soldered up. How about that for a fast turtle, guys? Pretty awesome. <laughs> it's just um, your mad skills and years of experience that you can whip yeah. that out that fast. The mad scientist. Now, if they will go all over the place, we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I haven't seen Mama yet today, Carolyn. I'm not, I'm not sure if she's doing doctor appointments today or what. Have you seen her, Sandy? I have not. Somebody said earlier that she was over at Chrissy's. Oh, I'm sure she's around somewhere. Like I said, that or she's got doing appointments or something. How small do you think you could go with those? You know, like earring size. Okay, guys. We got our turtle. Yay. How much time have I got left? It is nine minutes now to show time. Okay. So we'll probably need to wrap it. Can you hear me, Sandy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will 
was mumbling. <laughs> well, I had to mute a couple times because sis was going out the door and stuff and wasn't sure if it messed it up or something. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. All right. Let's get going on this. I'm going to grab Gianna's link here. Here's the link to Gianna's auction, everyone. It's going to be starting in seven minutes. Okay. In two minutes, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep you posted on it here. We'll get half of them sawed out, at least. That's what, 20-minute turtle? <laughs> And more like about a 15 here so far. That's not too bad. 20 minute turn. No, that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's excellent. Materials versus labor ratios for Tristel, you know. I know, Christy, but sometimes it's just easier to hit the link than it is to have to hunt it up, you know. Okay, guys. That's as far as we're going to get, unfortunately, but um, I'll switch over on this other camera. It'll still be there later tonight. He if will. Uh, come if on, it. He will be here. Yep. All right, guys. Just going to say bye real quick. Please go over to Gianna's um and uh, Edna's auction, I will be there. So, um, Willow from? For you, Kansas. Love y'all. Farron, Utah, guys, I love you, and I do appreciate you. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. Come back tonight, all right?